Howdy, howdy, guys and gals. I'm Double J. Welcome back to Farmington County. Just sitting here getting my stamina back. Must have hit the button. Oh, yeah. L tabbed out. Um, yeah. Alright, so I've been working. For a while, I cleared a lot of wood. Those are four stacks of 100 in the back of the truck there. Which is what it maxes out at. I think that's a stack of 70 or something. Sitting there. If I'm not mistaken, it said Wednesday and Thursday we deliver stuff. I'm going to go down and try to drop this wood off. Uh, at the train station. So that should be, uh, yeah, 400. 400, 500 stacks of wood. And we'll see what that gets us, funny wise, because we're sitting at 758. Um, yeah, which isn't too horrible. We aren't going down too bad. So we got $26 a day maintenance fee for our two buildings, but I know plenty well that's going to go way up. As soon as we start adding better buildings and more machinery and so on and so forth. Righty should be right up here. Hey. Oh, what's to say? Oh no, Thursday and Friday, right? Ah, oh, damn. Thursday and Friday. Okay, got a day to wait. I was messing around with the uh, build menu and I saw there's something I could slap down for uh, modifying your vehicle. But it's like $800,000. Something like that. It was kind of cool that I got that too. Decided to get some money and play with the uh, things we have. See what we could do. The sprinklers I set up work perfectly except the ones on the tomatoes missed that one extra guy I popped up on top. Which, you know, makes sense because it's out of the pattern. As soon as this crop is good, I'm going to probably get rid of that patch. Um, Small ones water everything but that one 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 on top. That medium one waters all 25 over there, so that's good to know. Do medium one and then do 25, 25 plots and then uh, you're good to be golden. And uh, yeah, it doesn't look like the rain actually waters your crops. It says it does, but it wasn't actually turning dark until the sprinklers kicked in so yeah it may or may, may not be implemented yet but I did clear out quite a bit of land back here trees if you can tell <laughs> there's just a big open area which is okay because this is going to be a farm so we need plenty of space to do our farming And I don't know how long it takes in game for crops to grow. We're on day three now. Day three of week one of spring of year one. And, uh, yeah. I was also, oh, pardon me, I just got up. I was also, um, we're gonna have a sit down quick while I talk. Well, it, peeking through the, Inventory menu and found there are multiple menus in here. So we got the inventory, then we got a, a level up. Notice that we're on level three now. We have a perk system. We can do faster running and sprinting, faster stamina recharge, a bigger personal weight, uh, get more wood when logging, fertilizer lasts longer, less maintenance cost. Huh. 
I'm gonna wanna go with one on here first. And maybe get more wood while logging. It seems like we'll be doing that for a while to start. And then I got uh, <clears throat> prices. Prices change by the week. So this is what we got now. Four dollars a unit for lumber, so that's four hundred dollars back of the truck. That's not bad. That is not bad. We can get into wine and what else was I was looking at? There's a couple things in the build menu that I noticed. There's a building maintenance. These are the help. And that's it. Yeah, as noticing we got utility, decorative, foliage, walkways, furniture, animals, fences. And each one of these is subcategories. Then we got park bench, coffee station, red couch, wooden chair, office chair, log bench, wooden twin bed, ass, edges. All hedges, cypress, flower pot, dining table, violin cabinet. We got sprinkler, sprinkler, sprinkler lamp, work light, street light, storage tent, traffic cone, solar light, and the storage tent, a fuel refiner. That's just, there's a few things we can do on the farm, I noticed. So we can actually make our own gas, uh, load with harvested corn to slowly turn into fuel, works better indoors. Uh, mechanic station, this is what I was talking about, lets you modify your vehicles, park your vehicle in front of the station, and interact with it to modify your vehicle. Uh, play targets, so these are target practice for the shooting. Then winemaker, produces wine with little harvested grapes. Beehive, produces honey when you have 100 or more crops planted and helps your crops grow faster. So there's a lot of cool little things. And then you got greenhouse, so you grow off and harvest crops year round. Uh, water plants by itself that's 1500 for the small one and you can see how small the small one is um and that's it for that there's a heck of a lot gone into this game it, it really does give me some sturdy vibes with the uh the way everything seems to work greenhouses the plants the growing the sprinklers the economy And I hope that when they get that city built, there's more people to interact with. Just uh, storyline wise, to actually go and talk to people. I actually dropped my axe off in my shed. Because that's the thing. If you don't store stuff inside, it will actually wear out faster. I saw that. Where did I see that? That was in. Yeah. Um, farming. You'll also remember to store your tools indoors before ending the day to prevent them from breaking down more quickly. Same with vehicles. Vehicles also need to be stored indoors before night ends to prevent them from breaking down. So if you just leave your stuff laying all over the place, it's going to actually break down on you faster. Which I like. That's, that's, uh, a great feature. I just pushed my gas can out of the way when I came came through here with my truck. No. Also want to get me a small storage tent over here just for gas and service parts. I always thought I was gonna be doing more of this episode. Because I was hoping that it was cell day. For uh, for wood, so let's see if we can't sleep the day away. It's a rainy, dreary day, anyways. Wouldn't mind just laying in bed and kicking back. Yep. All right, we'll pass the day here. Now twenty-six dollars. I thought I put that maintenance cost thing on there. What is that? That's just from what I buy from now on. Train has arrived. You can load your goods in the train yard. Now that is what I wanted to see. 
Alrighty, die to die. Alright, I'm gonna go over here and hit that top crop. Ooh, look! Second growth stage. Hit that top crop real quick. And I'll let the uh, sprinklers handle the rest of it. I just been putting my, my sprayer in there because it's easy to do. Like I just did. <laughs> Run in and grab it. Get that one spot. Head on out. Alright, now let's go drop our, our wood off. I said it's... Oh, hello. Uh, chill out. Thank you. I wonder if there's a strap. I think there is. But, uh... So it was $4 for a piece of wood, and we got $400. We should have $400. It's nice. That would be mucho appreciado. Goes back up over the thousand mark, at least. And maybe we can look into buying a piece of building. Or maybe take a peek at what, uh, what the vehiculars cost. I don't think I took a good look at uh, how much tractors. So let's, uh, let's plant shop. Here's a big shop. Let's take a peek spy at the, uh, the tractors cost. Uh, look at some vehicles. Lost land. So 2500 for this guy. 500 for this guy. And 200 for this guy. Okay. Um, constructors, 2,500. That makes barns and garages and roads and yada yada. That's what I would like to get is actual garage instead of just a tent. So then this right here is the Jim Elk Plower 2. Get it? John Deere, Jim Elk. <laughs> I love when they do that. Wordplay stuff. Hoya Tamoma. <laughs> Toyota Tacoma, maybe? <laughs> okay, so that's, I'm assuming, this? Maybe this. Quite sure. Oh, that was this. And then this is the Woods, Woodser. 1200. Little ATV. Large ATV for going around the farm, which. A farm is pretty dang big. I've not seen two of the boundaries yet, so I'm pretty sure we'll be needing that. And eventually, the Bull E800 delivery van. Ah. Ah, so that actually has a purpose. Okay, sweet. Logging vehicle. Cedar. I don't see the cedar over here. Wow. Or the harvester, I should say. The car with ample storage in the back. This is what we have. Okay, so. Our star kite. Well, what, what was this? Jim Elk sprayer. Oh, okay. 2000 for the sprayer. What is a slow use of vehicle for moving items around the farm? And there's vehicles I don't even see right now. Oh, we cow. High performance uh, off road luxury. <laughs> okay, there, there's actually a lot of vehicle options. That is cool. That is very cool. So, not everything on the lot is what they have. They actually have a lot more. Back. So that is something to look forward to. We're definitely going to be uh, getting into vehicles. I'm 
later. That's why we're doing all this. Because that is why we are doing all of this. Logging and stuff to uh, supplement our money. It didn't take long to get to 400. So, oh. Not 400. 400 per bundle. So it should be 1600 for all these. So that's banging. That's a really good deal. I can fill this truck up a couple times. I wonder if that's even a good price that we're getting at. $4 a bundle. Or $4 a log. Oh, now that I say that, I can't believe I was thinking 400 for the whole truck. <laughs> oh, John, John, John. Oh, well. We got $1,600 in sales pending. I think I am going to sir here all day today and tomorrow before. Hold on. Don't mind me. Just, you know. Showing off my badass driving skills. Alright, uh, tomorrow is all day today, or until 7. Everything closes at 7. And then Friday till 5.30 to fill this truck up. I know I already got almost another full stack uh, sitting at home. So it should take me long to fill this truck up again. And we'll have 3,200 ready to go. So yeah, I think that's what I'll be doing. We'll go back, chop, 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 chop. And then I'll bring y'all back when I'm selling it. And we'll get some monies. And we'll get some honeys. No, probably not. <laughs> we'll get the money at least. Which we don't get until uh, Friday when it sells. So maybe I get a couple trips in there and get like four or five or six thousand. Ending. I'll be using you again. I'll just uh, go ahead and park it here. I'll grab this. Bundle I'm currently working on, which has 35. Okay, I thought I had more in that, but still. Not bad, not bad. So I will see you when I'm selling another truckload. In a little bit. And here we are. Back at the train station with another load of logs. Chopped all night. Now Friday. Chop, chop, chopped all night. Had some coffee breaks, get my stamina back up, but it didn't take too long. I think I was done by 8 p.m. yesterday, which is, you know, not a bad price to pay for the amount of money we're going to be getting. And it leaves today at 5.30, so sure to get this in here and see what we'd be getting for it. And if we get a decent amount, we might be able to buy a vehicular to start with. Oh, whoa. Spinning right round, baby, right round. Alright, so. That's 3,200 pending sales. That's above our 700 that we're sitting at, so. But we're, uh, for some of the prices here, we've got a plow, a harvester, cedar. We go for the builder. Let's, uh, how are you today, Jimmy? Good, buddy. Thanks for asking. How's Double J Farms doing these days? Pretty good, buddy, old pal. Thanks. I would like to look at some of your vehicles. Uh, alright, thanks. 
Okay, so 2,500. I think we already figured this out. The cedar, the harvester, plant, flower. Which one should we get first? We've got crops in the ground, so it would be smart to go for the harvester first. Since that would be the first one to get used. Huh. Interesting. Or we could go... Cedar, or plow, get the plow and get our crops ready. Hmm, I'll have to think about that one. I'll have to think about that one. We really don't need a pickup or a van at the moment. We could maybe buy the constructor and have that around so we have stuff to build. We gotta worry about buying seeds too. Huh. There's a lot to think about. So we're definitely gonna have to buy some, some seeds. But we'll wait until our sale uh, train goes through and uh, figure it out from there. We, we're obviously going to need all three check, or eventually. Or, because I think there's a, there's a sprayer tractor too, unless we get all sprinklers set up. But then the sprayer tractor could be good for uh, just spreading pesticide or fertilizer. Not so much water. But our uh, crops are doing pretty decent looking healthy I gotta hit that one in the corner there other than that they're doing pretty good let's grab this spray real quick like hit it up and we're done <laughs> that's all the extent we need but yeah we uh, took quite a chunk of trees out in the backyard here give you a little peek of poo of it Ended up just taking my truck out here. Get all this up. All this up. Head up to back here. Gotta start chopping. Which I probably will be doing. Chop all day today. Clear out most of this land. And then uh, we'll let the sails go through. And then we'll worry about what kind of vehicle we want to get. We'll probably get a harvester first. Because we'll be using that right off the bat. I know there's something to said about... You can harvest multiple times by hand... Without the crop being destroyed. But with a harvester, a crop gets destroyed, but you get twice as much of a harvest. So I think I want to just go harvester first. And then... No, no, no. Actually, let's do let's do a plow first, because we're gonna be starting more plowed ground or more farm farm ground, uh, planting more crops. Maybe before we even get the other crops up. So let's we'll go plow first. Do a plow first, then whatever money we have, we buy another tractor. We'll go for our cedar, and then it'll go harvester. Yeah, I think that's what we'll end up doing. But for now, I'm going to get out the old trusty axe. Is that 61%? And I'm going to start swinging away. Chop, chop, chop. Just like this. Chop, chop, chop. Solid. Chop my wood. Just like that. And, uh, yeah. Load this truck up and start making more money. Thank you for watching. Uh, like I said, next episode we will go buy us a tractor but anyways that is all for now because i don't want to torture you with more wood cutting this is going to be most of uh what we'll be doing for a while so hope you enjoyed leave a like if you did subscribe if you haven't already hit that little bell so you're notified when i upload which is almost every day
that's it for this video. Take it easy, Zombie Squad, and I'll catch you on the next one.